how to document a gel. In most of the lab experiments, we extract the DNA, cut and join it to form the recombinant products and perform PCR reactions. These products are then run on an across gel to measure the purity and to view the final results of the experiment. The final step after running an agarose gel is documentation of the gel. While running the gel, a small amount of ethidium bromide is added. This binds to the DNA or the RNA molecule as ethidium bromide emits fluorescence on exposure to UV rays. Based on the fluorescence, position of the DNA or RNA molecules are determined on the gel. Components a dark chamber, camera, UV and light illuminator, a stage to place the gel and a computer to view the image obtained. The epi white light is used to view the gel's position in the imager where the lights are placed above the gel. The trans UV light in the imager helps fluorescent the ethidium bromide bound molecule and image them. These lights are placed below the gel. Procedure before placing the gel on the stage, the stage is wiped clean with ethanol. The gel is then placed on the stage by slowly sliding it from the template with slight pressure from the top. This step should be done with extra care to prevent breaking of the gel as they are very fragile. Once the gel is placed on the stage, any air bubbles present is removed by applying gentle pressure on it using our hands. Now open the quantity one application installed in the system, then select gel.xr from the file menu. This will prove the simple luminescent image of the gel. Now select Epi White from the illumination types provided under image mode to switch on the visible light. Now by using the tele and wide options, the gel can be zoomed in and out so the entire gel can be seen. The image is then focused using the near and far options until a point where the wells in the gel are seen clearly. If the position of the gel is not proper, then it can be adjusted by opening the upper door of the imager and shifting the gel's position as desired by hand. Make sure the trans UV rays are not switched on during this time. Once the gel is positioned and focused properly, switch on the trans UV light. The exposure required can be acquired both automatically and manually. In auto exposure, the amount and time of exposure is increased gradually. Whereas in manual acquire option, the amount and the time of exposure can be set manually as required. Trans white light is used for documentation of protein gel as the dibromophenol blue does not require UV lights for fluorescence. Whereas we place a white plate on the stage before placing the protein gel for documentation. Once the desired image is obtained, it can be freezed and printed. Once it's freezed, it can be saved in the designated folder with all the details indicating the experiment. Once it's saved, the image has to be exported in JPEG format. Now select export to JPEG image from the file menu.
In that, select highest quality and export the image. The final step is to remove the gel from the stage to the template without breaking. This is done by sliding the gel to the sides using slight pressure to make sure that they do not break. Finally, wipe the stage with ethanol before closing the equipment. This is the documented image of the gel 